So I just found a way to auto mount um, my drives. Um, if you watch my other videos, I usually uh, manually mount it, but not anymore because I found this um, program in the Add and Remove. Just search for NTSF, and you want to install this one NTSF um, configuration tools. Make sure all your uh, drives are unmounted in your places. Um, mine's mounted, but yours should be unmounted. The white ones. It should it should show you a white hard disk icon. Don't mount anything yet, right? <coughs> and if it is mounted, just you know, uh, log out, log in, or something like that. And after um, you know, you uh, install the program, it will be in the let's see in the tools section in the system tools section here. See this the program. Once you open it the first time, um, and all your drives unmounted, it'll ask you to um, let's see. Uh, it'll ask you to check like all the drives that you want to auto mount. Uh, if you don't have a name, all you just type a name next to it. But that's that's basically what it is. And after that, you'll see something like this, where it says um, "Enable Write Support for External uh, Internal and External Drives." Just click OK, and that's all you gotta do. Um, this it also works for um, external drives. Um, you see, like the before, I had um, my drives. It wasn't actually mounting anything. Let me see. So, you see, I have um, three drives here, right? I'm gonna turn on my external one, and it'll auto mount. Also, so let me turn it on. Should take a few minutes. <coughs> And yeah, it'll make, it'll create a folder in the media, and um, it'll just pop up a screen once you see uh, it's on. So we'll just wait for that shit to finish. Let's see, it auto mounts my external drives, and I can access it. Yeah. Let's see, so yeah, get that tool and add and remove, and um, it's not that hard to configure. You know, basic shit. That's all.